Top spin my career was streamed for the first time by another UK go. Hi again, it's me. We're gonna be going through every new feature I saw in this stream. And let's uh let's get to it. I did catch the stream late. I missed the sort of character creation part of his stream. So I'm sorry. Another streamer that went through it, but it's in French. Uh, so I'm not gonna cover it because me not nah speak no French. Me no hablo English. But I'll put that VOD also in the description. But somebody, I think, in the Discord did catch the my career setting screen, which wasn't covered in the uh, Meet the Most trailer. So I'll go through that now. We get to choose five match format options when we start our career. We see super tie break, which is a 10 point tie break. Of course, we can choose a short set, which is one set of three games. We can choose the top spin setting. We best out of three sets with three games per set with a super tie break in the deciding set. Or we can pick the one where the, the one where the real gamers will be picking a real tennis dynamic where two 50 tournaments will be seven point tie breaks. 500s, 10 point tie breaks, Grand Slams and Masters will be one set of three games. With the dynamic sets though, I've got a little bit of a critique. I wish we can sort of adjust each tournament's length ourselves. So for example, 250 event to be, be one set of three games, um, a 500s tournament to be the top spin setting. So best out of three sets with three games and then, then Masters and Grand Slams to be, you know, the real thing. Training has also been reworked in top spin five. You can, you can practice the fundamentals of ground strokes, volleys and serves against the ball machine. You have tiers within each training. So I'm gonna guess, I'm assuming you just, you just play one and locks the next one and so forth so forth special events also return to top spin five it's like a mini game slash side quest in between um training and the tournament where you can earn xp and clothes i think some people are thinking that you can't earn clothes and other stuff outside of the season pass so so it's good to see here that we can actually earn stuff outside of it traveling to these special events um deplete your energy i think depending on how far you travel um simon traveled to the fuji tennis center which looks way wow that is sick hey that's sick out the stream simon played a bunch of 250 tournaments i think, I think some fictional some real which looked very good i only caught certain snippets of the stream so i didn't see everyone he played but i'm gonna put up on the screen now quickly all of the tournaments in each of the months that somebody picked out in the discord also simon's racket here looks good and all gold i'm assuming that, that this must be the um champion racket that's that's listed in the grand slam edition because it's because surely, right, because it's actually glistening in all gold, it looks championship-esque. So I'm assuming this is what this is. So we then get taken to the tournament screen, the, the pre-tournament screen, where we can see the format of the tournament. What some people in the community have spotted, which is a concern for a few, is that the format is one set of three games. Cool. But the tournament has only eight players and three rounds, meaning the tournament starts in the... Um, quarterfinals instead of the first round which contains up to 32 to 64 players right so so and and these are the same formats that was used in top spin 4 which was kind of criticized because it's not really realistic but but i guess since i think the player pool is set to eight is set to just 80 players having a 250 tournament with 64 players in it say would mean that almost every player in the pool would be in that one tournament so i guess they're sort of constrained to using this formats that they had in the previous game so hopefully but hopefully you can get worked on in the future um, but now let's um cut some gameplay perfect oh my oh my the gameplay is 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 the rallies the animations everything looks so so good I just want to get my hands on the game right now so I can smash all of you man on the game. Pause. You are not ready. Anyone that comes against me is going to get cooked. Also new animations of the plague and angry, which I found pretty cool. Yeah, throw the racket, brother. Throw the racket. I don't want to be here. This is one sort of concern I had again, which I had in um, Sharky stream was the sort of lack of tips and advice throughout the game in the game if you know what i mean fuck no baby <laughs> like in the stream simon was complaining about um losing the stamina really quickly during the points during the game 
I ain't got it, man. I ain't got it. My stamina. And that was because he was just spamming power shots at every opportunity. So, but if you play Toss before, you know your power shots can end up biting you where the sun don't shine. Excuse me. So I feel like during the game, there should be this tips during the game or even sort of your like a picture of your coach popping up and saying like, yo, take it easy, my boy. You know what I mean? Or maybe that's, maybe that is a feature and I haven't seen it yet. So I might be just waffling, but I didn't see it throughout the stream. After the um, tournament, he actually got injured due to having to travel and do that um, special event. After the um, tournament, we also see a recap screen. There's also a tab for center court pass progression. And somebody in my comments, I think in a few videos ago, was asking whether free playing free playing if you can earn season pass rewards from playing offline career mode. So I'm assuming based on this, you can. As long as you have it, as long as you're connected to the internet, of course. After that screen, we also see, we also get a recap of that month of tennis. You also seen that Medvedev won, won the Monte Carlos Masters, which is um surprising. No, this is a clay. This is yeah, clay. Yeah, uh, it's bad surface. So uh, me, I cannot do damage to bad surface. Bad what? surface is bad surface. Well, I don't want to play here on this <laughs> surface. But yeah, that basically rounds off this little um sort of career mill breakdown. Um. Obviously, I didn't catch the whole stream. So if you guys seen things that I didn't spot, let me know in the comment. Let people know in the comment section. Obviously, if you've seen any concerns where you'd want things to be improved, let people know in, the, in my comments, in the Reddit, all of that stuff. Because because the 2K team are behind that Reddit. So they obviously, so they obviously use that as sort of player feedback. Wait, 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 wait. How far are we off 1,000 now? Because the other, this is, cause this is getting a bit mad. Rah, we're, 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 what's that? We're 16 subscribers away from a thousand. So before, if we reach that goal before the game comes out, that'd be absolutely mental. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Keep it real, keep it positive, and we'll chat to you in the next one. Oh, I've got oranges. I've got oranges. Oh, my mum's a saint. <laughs>